Hello, this is Bob Smith from Yachtcom Stroke Salcom Marine, and we're just looking at the ICOM M803. This is just a quick look at the connections. Uh, this is the control head, looking at the back of it, cable comes in here, uh, a locking cable so it can't be pulled out, and it's uh, coming round through this coil onto uh, into the main unit. So this is the control head, this is the main unit, goes into there. Uh, this is the main unit of the ICOM M803, where all the uh, connections come in, uh, the antenna and power on the other side. But on this side, we've got a cable going off to the control head, this socket here for an external GPS. But, uh, the ICOM M803 is a built-in GPS. Uh, this is the remote socket going off around to our Pactal modem, so it comes out of here, goes into our Pactal modem there. And this socket is the AF mod coming out, going into the Pactal modem there. This grey wire plugged into the ACC is just taking power, so we're taking power 12 volts off here to power the Pactal modem. Uh, this connection here is for our external GPS, which is uh, just here on the table. There's the cable, there is the uh, antenna, so that's the antenna it comes with, uh, the, the external GPS antenna, but uh, that plugs into there um, for the GPS. On the Pactal modem, this socket here is for an external 12 volts, but we don't need that because, as I've said, the 12 volts is coming out of the ACC socket uh, round into the modem there. Socket here is for, an ex is for a USB socket, uh, but this is a Pactor modem with Bluetooth, and therefore we have a Bluetooth connection. We don't need a USB connection. Uh, this is the control. Uh, this socket here is for an external GPS, so you can feed uh, NMEA into the Pactor modem. But we don't need to do that because the ICOM M803 is a built-in GPS and we can take the NMEA out here and feed it into the Pactal modem. So we don't need to connect the external NMEA into the Pactal modem. So that is the back uh, of the ICOM M803 main unit. Okay, this is the uh, main unit of the ICOM M803, the power and antenna side. Over here we have a uh, uh, power to a coming in. This socket here, the antenna socket, is for an external DSC watch antenna. Uh, you must have a DSC watch antenna in if you wish to receive uh, distress calls, urgency calls, etc. So that must uh, have an error, and we haven't got one in there at the present. This aerial socket here is the uh, coax cable going off to our aerial tuner unit, uh, ATU. That's the coax cable. Uh, and this socket here is the control cable going to the ATU as well, uh, with the earth connected. So this supplies a power control to the aero tuner unit. That's the coax cable to the uh, tuner. DSC watch antenna and power socket. So those are what those connections are on that side of the uh, main unit of the ICOM M803.